Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're examining our picks for the 10 British TV stars who died too soon. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at unfortunate incidences of iconic small screen celebrities that departed the world at a young age. Rick Mayle. Yes, that's right! We're mere loonies! We mean no harm! <laughs> A pioneer of alternate comedy, Rick Mayle was a genius in the field. Known for his high-octane performances, he helped elevate any project he was in and turn many of them into classics, but especially if they involved his long-term collaborator, Abe Edmondson. Whether it was The Young Ones, Bottom, Blackadder, or another beloved work, Mayle always gave it his all. Hands up who likes me! <laughs> As such, Mayall's performances resonated with fans and fellow UK comedians. In June 2014, after returning from a morning jog near his home in London, Mayall suddenly collapsed and passed away. He was just 56 years old. Peaches Geldof From a young age, Peaches Geldof had been through a lot. When she was 11, she lost her mum, Paula Yates, to an overdose. A few years later, Geldof began her journalism career. I kind of wanted to study randomly sociology, but I think just English and journalism would be cool. Yes, study, yeah. I think you're probably a natural journalist. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Starting with magazines, she soon began writing in newspapers. Then, still a teen, Geldof was making TV documentaries. As her career was rising higher and higher, behind the scenes, she was struggling with addiction. Having already fought that battle and won, Geldof slipped back into the lifestyle. Even her husband, musician Thomas Cohen, didn't know about her relapse. In April 2014, Geldof passed away at her home in Kent at the age of 25. The cause was later attributed to an accidental overdose. Helen McCrory Potter fans may know her as Narcissa Malfoy, Peaky Blinder fans may know her as Polly Gray, but all will remember her as an incredible actress. A woman of style and substance. McCrory had a legendary career and found herself married to fellow British actor Damien Lewis. But tragically, before the last season of Peaky Blinders was filmed, she had to step down after being diagnosed with breast cancer. Helen McCrory would pass away in 2021, reportedly peacefully and surrounded by her loved ones. Andy Whitfield After moving to Australia, Welsh-born Andy Whitfield was carving a name out for himself in the acting realm. From making his screen debut in the TV series All Saints in 2004, to having the title role in the 2007 film Gabriel, Whitfield got his big break when he was cast as the lead in 2010's Spartacus Blood and Sand. You believe you can slay the giant. Alone. However, that same year, the actor discovered that he had non-Hodgkin lymphoma, a form of cancer. Whitfield immediately began treatment, but after his cancer went into remission, it returned several months later. With the show having already delayed production during Whitfield's treatment, he decided to leave the series. For a year, he battled the disease valiantly. In September 2011, Whitfield passed away in Sydney at 39. Caroline Ahern When she was a child, Caroline Ahern had a tough start when she was diagnosed with retina cancer. However, she beat it. From there, she would eventually launch her great career in comedy. Chocolate cake. You could do without a bit of this, though. You're a bit of a big bride, aren't you? In 1992, Ahern debuted her Mrs. Merton character on TV, a role that would provide her with several awards. Then, her award-winning ways would continue with her iconic work in the royal family. But behind the scenes, Ahern struggled with alcoholism and depression, as well as undergoing treatment for bladder cancer. Fortunately, that terrible big C returned in 2014, this time in Ahern's lungs. While undergoing treatment, she became involved with cancer awareness programs. However, in June 2016, 52-year-old Ahern passed away at her home in Greater Manchester. George Ward, aka Cherry Valentine. Not everyone can juggle the demands of being a mental health nurse alongside a career as a drag artist. But then again, not everyone was George Ward, better known as their alter ego, Cherry Valentine. In 2021, Cherry burst onto our screens by appearing in the second series of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. When filming was halted during the pandemic, Ward returned to the front line as a nurse. In 2022, after taking part in the tour with the other Drag Race contestants, Ward created the documentary Cherry Valentine, Gypsy Queen and Proud to revisit their previous community in Darlington. 
In September 2022, news broke that Ward had sadly passed away suddenly from undisclosed reasons at the age of 28. Caroline Flack. So I suppose when it's come to relationships, I still kind of always put work, I put work up in the morning, go to work, come home, just like my boyfriend has. Yes. You know, and I've never got to that point yet, and, I, and I'm scared it's going to get too late where I've wanted to go, right, maybe it's slow down. The story of Caroline's tragic death serves as an example of the dangerous effects of social media, and perhaps more so, the tabloids. Caroline Flack was a mainstay on British television, serving as the presenter for shows such as Love Island, as well as competing on and winning Strictly Come Dancing. But amidst an assault case against her, a huge media pylon proved too much to handle. Tragically, Flack would take her own life at just 40 years of age. Mark Spate For many adults today, they'll remember the great work Mark Spate did as they grow up watching the show Smart. I'm going to sketch her for a painting that I'm going to do later on, so I need as much detail as possible. His likeable personality and impressive artistic skills left a lasting impression, but his life took a tragic turn in January 2008 when he found the body of his fiancée, Natasha Collins. Initially, the police treated Spate like a suspect, believing he gave her the substances that caused Collins' demise. After an inquest, Collins' passing was ruled as a misadventure. As this was happening, Spate stepped away from Smart. Then, in April, he vanished. After a search, his body was found in London Paddington Station. Spate had taken his own life after struggling with his loss. He was 42 years old. Emma Chambers after spending years developing her acting talents on stage, Emma Chambers pivoted to TV roles in the 90s, and in 1994 she exploded on our screens as the slightly balmy but lovable Alice Tinker in The Vicar of Dibley. Oh, um, you can call me Alice. Right. Because it's my name. Beyond the odd project here and there, Chambers' final screen acting appearance was in the Dibley 2007 special The Vicar in White. In 2018, news broke that Chambers had passed away after a heart attack at the age of 53. In 2020, as part of a lockdown-themed series, the Vicar of Dibley paid tribute to Chambers, as well as their other fallen actors, Roger Lloyd Pack, Liz Smith, and John Bluthall. Sean Locke If you were running a panel show and needed to bring in top talent to entice viewers, Sean Locke was the comedian you turned to. No matter if it was QI, 8 out of 10 cats, or 8 out of 10 cats does countdown, he elevated the show and the other performers around him. If you look me up in the dictionary, you'd get a four-letter word. It's got a C in it, a U in it, and a T in it. And that word is, of course, cute. Back in 1990, believed to have been caused by working unprotected in the sun as a builder in the 80s, Locke contracted and beat skin cancer. However, in 2021, having fought lung cancer secretly for years, the 58-year-old Locke passed away. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.